I am a mom of three amazing boys. I'm Ashley, I'm five. I'm Kaden, and I'm eight. I'm Joshua, and I'm 10. And we got to do something just totally amazing today. Well, let me back up. A couple years ago, it was October of 2015, we were headed home from a park, just a normal day. It was, sun was shining, and we were headed home, and we were met head on with another driver. This driver was completely amazing. She didn't mean to, it was a complete accident, but we did hit head on, and our car, our van, our minivan that we were in was completely totaled. I remember going forward that day, driving just like it was every normal day, and then out of the blue, just like that, everything changed. Mom, take off, we got a crash. Another driver accidentally hit us head on. Mom left the AC on so it turned to smoke. So when we got in the crash, right then when we hit, then the car hit us front, my head went against the seat in front of me and I was pretty much a dizzy the whole time. In an instant, the whole entire van filled with smoke and I remember hearing all three of my boys screaming as loud as they could. And when I had looked down, my whole entire steering wheel, the whole entire mechanism that I was holding onto had fallen onto my knees and I couldn't move and I couldn't escape. And for me as a mom, that was the worst feeling of my life to feel that my kids were screaming and in pain and I couldn't get to them. So Josh put the door open and then we went out, but when he put the door open, the wheel fell on mom. Hang him right out, but then I remember Matthew, so I grabbed him, ran, and then we got on the sidewalk. The firefighter came and then broke the door with the axe, and then, mom, and then they <laughs> killed the wheel, and then they got mom out, and mom was in pain. It took a couple other firefighters to actually break open the driver's side door in order to get me out and get me loose from the situation. The guy said the van was supposed to explode, but it didn't. When I got out of the van, I caught. The firefighter came. Okay, so Matthew was crying, and the firefighter saw him, and they gave Matthew the moose. Shirt said firefighters on it, and it was pretty cool. And I stopped crying. A couple hours later, I saw my youngest boy, Matthew, walking around with a stuffed moose, and I asked him, where did you get that, buddy? <laughs> it was one of those days that I was just like, just completely just out of it. And the three boys gathered around, they told me, well, mom, when we were on the sidewalk, you know, waiting for the help to get there, the firefighter gave Matthew this little stuffed moose because he was crying so hard and it made him smile. And it hit me that whole entire day throughout the ambulances coming, the firefighters coming, the police coming with me just being distraught with everything going on. My little guy, who was probably two at the time, didn't cry hardly at all and he'd been carrying around this little stuffed moose. So we've held it, and it's just been like something in our home that we've just had just to encourage us. Well, today, we actually got to go back to the fire station a couple years later. It's 2018 when I'm doing this video. One of those little corners of the garage, I found this tub, and it was filled to the brim with just these animals, and think uh, stuff and fluff animals. We got a stuffed animal in front of God. And my middle guy, Caden, he came up to me and said, Mom, you know that stuffed moose that we have? I said, yeah. He's like, how did the firefighters get that? And I honestly didn't know what to tell them. And I was like, I don't know, buddy. I guess people give them stuffed the animals and they hand it out on a fire truck. I don't know. And he said, well, where do they get them from? Do they buy them? How do they get them? And I'm like, I don't know. And he made the connection. He's like, well, we have this huge bag of animals that we can stuff that we can give to people to make the kids stop crying like Kate, like Matthew did that day. And I thought, oh my goodness, like my guy is just amazing because I've been looking for a purpose for these animals for years and he just connected the dots all together. 
we stuffed the stuff and knows that we went to then then we and then so we was wrong and then so we actually finally got right and then we got the and then the person said hey what are you doing and we said it's stuff and modes and then he let us in and then we got little badges so today we stuffed them in garbage bags because that's all we got here in this house okay just telling you the truth so we stuffed them all in all these garbage bags and we took them to the fire station and it was amazing when they got to take in all of these animals that they made get it to the fire station give it to the fire chief or whoever was there i really don't know his title but he was so amazing he gave all of our kids little badges and they had a blast doing that and i told the kids i said how cool would this be as if a year or two years or three years or four years you were walking down the road and you saw a kid that had a story about the stuffed animal that a firefighter gave him and it was one of those stuffed animals that we stuffed one of those stuffed animals that we got to pray over and maybe a other kid might get the stuffed animal all I know is that just like those stuffed animals in that corner that God's got a purpose for every single thing we go through in our lives and God had that time right now orchestrated for my boys to come up with that service project and to come up with that idea because they saw how one stuffed animal, one little moose stuffed animal could change a little boy's life. Imagine what these bag bags filled of stuffed animals can do. You can make a difference too. So go out there and make a difference. One of our favorite verses are Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you.